thermostat blank. It feels like it running up here. I think this is our guy here. We are tripped. So we're gonna have a low voltage short somewhere. See a straggling wire nut there. Not sure what that's to. Looking at all my normal spots here. Don't see anything noticeable. It's a uh, stat wire. Looks like they ran it up through the chase over top. there. I don't like how they run it through there, but at least they siliconed it. Hmm. Well. Let's get inside here and take a look. I'll we'll home out some wires and see what we can find. So we got our meter set to continuity. I pulled my, uh, ground wire for the 24 volt transformer make sure we got a good ground and we do and then we're just going to check between all of our wires here and see if we've got a short I'm not picking anything up of my contactors which I should have picked up from my thermostat wires but um, I'm not sure what's going on yet I've got a rub out somewhere or an intermittent rub out so let's keep searching um, probably gonna isolate the thermostat first so just disconnect all my wires go ahead and power the unit back up and reset it and see if it trips then so I can try to figure out if it's in my thermostat side or the unit side. So we got thermostat wires disconnected, nothing touching. Get the power back on. Reset. So, well, I didn't trip. So, let's, uh, I'm gonna probably not be able to get this on film, but I'm gonna go one by one. I'm gonna hook my ground back up, first of all. And then I'm gonna go one by one and start with red and common, feed the thermostat power, and then connect our wires one by one and see what happens. We started with red and common, nothing. So, I heard the click come from over here, like it was on the board. So that's not a good sign, that's where our blower signal comes from. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, start inside our blower compartment. Sometimes these have an overload on them. Uh, high limit and such inside of here. So let's take that panel off and look first before we go any further. So here we are. I pulled my blower 
there. Let's see if she does it again. Oh yeah, you can hear that. It's gonna trip. Maybe. I'm not sure where the hell that noise is coming from. That's on the G terminal, it didn't trip. Huh. Well. That is weird. Let's, um. I'm just trying to isolate our problem now, just to verify it is the board. Um, which I'm suspecting at this point it is, because just a, how it sounds. Um, we'll disconnect our G going into the board, leave 24 volts, and we'll plug this back on. This is going to be high voltage anyway, so I'm not sure that's helping me any. But we're working our way to isolating our problem. All right, so this is not a perfect science, guys. I'm just going through it step by step, trying to figure out what's going on here. So um, G is disconnected. Oh, all right, let's go. Uh, uh, everything looks normal now. I've got 24 volts and yellow and green pulled off of my board. This is high voltage and I don't have a W call so I left the W on there. So there's my G call. Everything still looks normal. Assuming I have 24 volts, I can do this with one hand. It's not going to do me any good checking if I don't have 24 volts. We got 23 because I'll bet we're tapped wrong. And that may have been what killed the board. Over time, with the low voltage, it will do that. You can see 211. So we should be on that 208 tap. Let's go ahead and correct that. That may only make our problem worse, but if I'm gonna kill the transformer, we're gonna do it right. Now we got a good 26 volts. G's connected. Let's come here. Let's plug our common on first. She lit up normally. I don't hear that buzzing noise again. Nothing unusual there. gonna do it again um, all right so there's nothing in my wiring I verified it's not in anything else in my thermostat we'll go ahead and connect everything just to make sure my boiler runs I inspect it over here so we pretty much narrowed it down to it's got to be that board so we'll uh, like I said connect everything again uh, plug our yellow back up and then uh, as long as everything doesn't trip at that point and then does the same thing when I plug my G wire back on it's gonna be in this uh, blower relay I would assume so I uh, will see if we can't get a board and as long as everything else goes well maybe we'll get a board today so here's where we're at guys um, pretty sure I got a board issue but this uh, lower contactor I disconnected it and then uh, tried to jump G again and I'm still getting the same sound out of the board it sounds like it's struggling but my coils open now on the contactor so I wonder if this contactor didn't fail and 
cause the board to fail. So, um, like I said, contact your coil disconnected or connected. I'm getting the same noise out of the board and it's uh, struggling. Sounds like it wants to pull a relay in, but it's not. So we're gonna change contactor out. Um, that's probably not gonna change anything and then we'll see if we can't get a board. All right, got a new board in, new contactor, blower contactor. goes always check your taps guys this is not a new unit and I'm not the first person to work on it so this thing's been running with 23 volts for a while that contactor was replaced at some point and I don't know if it was tapped incorrectly that caused the board to fail or that uh, contactor coil most likely the contactor coil you can see down inside of there, you see a little burn mark. You can see it better on that side. So we were, uh, that's probably what I smelled burning earlier. But that contactor coil was an issue. So um, we're gonna go ahead and jump everything out and make sure heat and cool works. We've been kind of mild days. This was actually a no cooling call, but um, I jumped the heat out earlier with the blower disconnected and the inducer came on at least and I jumped the cooling out and the compressor contactor pulled in. So it was definitely that blower circuit that was the issue. But we're just going to verify everything while we're up here. We'll call this one good, make sure everything fires off. this one good we'll take a couple amp draws and uh see where we go from that nope no vibration just the screws i had up on top so we're gonna call this one good guys let me know what you think leave a comment below subscribe we'll see y'all on the next one